So today I had an idea of a new KPI card. So I decided to go ahead and create it using the HTML text styler and record it live so everybody can see how it's done. I will do this step by step uh, well, and let's see what the outcome is. Let's start with downloading the sample report from AppSource. So I just go to AppSource and I search for Cake Team where we see all our visuals and then select the HTML text styler and download the sample report. I'm opening the sample report, which is always a good basis um, because I can then go and copy some of the existing code from the sample report. So this is the sample report and what I want is a KPI card. So I head over to the KPI card page and pick the one which is looking similar maybe to what I want to create. Um, today I'm going to go with this one. So what I want to do is I want to copy this entire code because really I'm going to demo this um, as if I have completely different data. So I'm going to actually get this code and paste it into an empty file. I cannot paste it not yet because I don't have any tables. So I'm just going to add a blank table. Not quite blank because I actually do need some measures or some values. Um, so let's just assume the data I have has um, a KPI, has an actual value, has a date. Let's stick to that for now. We have turnover, which is, I don't know, 280. Uh, let's say this is all from beginning of this year. We have EBIT, which is 120, same date. And then we have net profit of 40. And let's also, so we can have a comparison, let's add the same uh, with a bit of different values, so 260 and 130 and 35 for the year before. Okay, so this is our data. This is our data because we are going to have a nice and clean model. I'm also going to add a table for our measures. So this would be our key measures. And in here, I'll add or I'll paste the code I've previously copied. So the KPI card one, and you can already see when I paste it here, because I pasted it, I copied it from a different report. Of course, I get some errors because some of these tables and columns simply don't exist. So let's see. Um, we want to have actual versus budget. Actually, we don't have this in our in our data. We only have actuals versus previous year. So maybe um, let's keep looking down here. I have actuals versus previous year. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's keep it simple. So we have EBITDA, um, well, let's just see. Let's just see this is some of our actuals column. We also have, again, the sum of the actuals column. The previous year we don't ha have yet. We also don't have a split by country, but we have a split by KPI. So maybe let's just change this into our KPI and say we want to show the selected KPI. And just to make this work, let's just change the name of these var ACB. We said we don't want two comparisons. So let's just get rid of this entire row. Okay. Um, previous year we don't have yet, but let's just leave this measure in there. We'll fix this in a minute. Previous year cannot be found, that's okay. We know about the issue because in order to calculate the previous year, 
we should add a date table. I'm aware this is a very simple model and it doesn't really make a difference maybe, but we just want to make this properly. So we add a date table, so we call it calendar and we want to add um, columns to, actually, you know what, it doesn't really matter, let's just make this quick and say we just use calendar auto, which gives us the calendar table, change this to date connect it into our data model, change the formatting, and connect date to date. So now we can go ahead and say we can actually create our previous year measure. So our previous year is the sum of AC, but from the year before, so this Um, cal yeah, date add calendar minus one year. Okay, which also means in our KPI card measure now we shouldn't have an error anymore. Very good. What happens if I add our KPI card measure in here? So that's already good, but of course this is not a bit. Oh, let's turn off the tooltip maybe first. So what we want to have is actually want to have a comparison of actuals versus previous year for all our three KPIs. And we can do this by simply taking the KPI field and putting it into the category field. So now we already have our three KPIs, but Again, because I copied this code, we still have some text which is coming from the old visualizations. So this EBITDA, this hard-coded EBITDA here, um, that's definitely something we want to get rid of. So let's go into the code again and see we are in the first row. So this EBITDA needs to go. And if we move it down, we can also see, okay, this is better. We have the turnover, five, four, five, okay, okay, okay. Very good. Maybe what we can do is let's add some space in between these to make it look a bit nice. Maybe we'll also get rid of the, the grid line. So now we have, and because we have defined the width with um, percentage, the visual is responsive, right? So let's make it a bit narrower. That's okay. And maybe I'm just thinking, because let's just change a few more things. What I would like to do is, instead of having the text in a color, why don't we change the background color, depending on if a value is positive or negative. Maybe also let's make sure that actually in our data, we have some negative values otherwise it will be hard to see so let's also say that for um, turnover we actually had more in the year before oh now we see that something's not working yet okay because what are we actually doing we are looking at what is our this is our yeah, actual value, the big number. Of our value. And then what do we do? We say the var AC versus previous year is the actuals versus the previous year. That's good. Then we say what's the text? This is where we say if the variance is um Oh, I think I know what the problem is because currently we don't even have a filter on the date. So let's still go in here and maybe, okay, let's just add the column for the year. Maybe a comma would be good. Okay, year of the date. So that will make it easier because now we can say we only want to see um, 
2022 because then we also have a previous year. So that makes more sense. Now we have negative values and positive values. But we wanted to change the background color. Right now this is just gray. We want to make this dynamic. So how do we do this? We should define a variable, I would say, var color. And it is again something similar to this because we want to color it in a different color when it's positive or when it's negative. So we want to say also if the result is above zero, then we want to have it green. If not, we want to have it red. Just keep it simple for now. But instead, but then again, let's get rid of the color for the text. So we say if this is above zero, then we um, we don't color this differently. Then we just say then it shouldn't be green. Then we just say um, this is this above and okay. So we don't have a color here anymore and also you know what let's also get rid of the color for the triangles I mean you know I'm just testing this out we'll see if it will look nice so then we only get the black triangle but now we will dynamically change the background color our color I'm not expecting this to look very nice yet but yeah maybe Okay, um, good, maybe a bit extreme, I don't know, but it, may, it did the job. What else could we do? Let us think. We could, maybe we don't even need um, three rows. Let me put this onto two rows. So maybe the first row, which only contains the KPI, let's Maybe put the KPI, let's keep it bold, that's okay, but let's put it in here. Now we have the KPI here, which means the very first row we don't even need anymore. Okay. Um, but it also means now the first column needs more space. So maybe we'll also change the first to 40 and then 60. Just make sure we add, it adds up to 100%. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not something like that? Um, maybe the text is a bit too big, font size 30, probably a bit too much, maybe 20. Um, I mean, there's much more we could do with this, and I'm planning to record more videos like that. So, you know, with specific topics where we say, no, I want to create this and that. Um, so hopefully that was the first of many. And hopefully you, you, you know, you learned a little bit more on how to use the HTML text styler to create KPI cards. I really suggest that you start with the sample report copy the code, get it into your report, and then you only need to replace bits and pieces of the code. And that should get you started very quickly. And as always, you know, if you don't quite figure out how to create the card, simply reach out to our support and we are always happy to help you. So thank you very much.